Tom, do you have anything else for us? I have something, something real oh. quick. Oh, can we talk about that boy Higgy coming back to the show after a year and after surgery and just saying, here's a bases clearing triple for you? It's bad. Awesome. That's so sick. He had great at bats too, but that, especially like that one getting the start and then go and clear the base triple right away is yeah. sick. He was hitting like 410. I saw his numbers on they put him on the board. And it so wasn't like he played like 10 games. Like he played like 25 games. He was on the taxi squad, so he missed like 10 games. But like he's got a decent amount of at-bats, and he's hitting 410. He came so we, back after not playing for two weeks, and I think he went like three for five. And then the very next game he was like four for five or something like that. Like he had like six hits in two games. We played them. Obviously, it was early, the second week. But like he would come up. You know, PJ great at bats, whatever, but like wouldn't get any hits. And like we were talking one game that, bro, I feel horrible up there. And like he was hitting like less than 100, like at 100, got like two hits one game, got it to like 150. Again, it's a second fucking week. But I didn't like check on a while. Like I was just in my own world anyway. And then I look up and hear that he's getting called up. And I saw that he was hitting four something. And I was like, wait, did he just play like two more games and then just get like eight hits? But it was like, no, he's had regular at bats for like a few weeks. I was like, oh my God, he went on a fucking tear he could not stop hitting it was unbelievable it, it might have been you dakota that told me this or maybe I, i'd heard from something somebody else but he got called up to the taxi squad in san diego and he had just gone five for five the night before yes. yeah and so i went up to him in the locker room was like hey they're calling you up trying to ice you huh you're five <laughs> for five they're they're trying to give you a couple of a's cool you down he was like yeah i don't fucking just hanging out here in, in the locker room he was He's just He's probably just he's, yeah. He's he's hilarious, and he's like he's always angry. Always, we said, it, we said like, it his first a, day not back, not in a malicious way, in like no. a very funny way. Well, that's what we said it the first day back, and someone's like, "PJ's already angry." They're like, "Why?" And I think it was like Mills is like because he woke up. Like I don't know. Like he wakes up and he's mad. Like that's just PJ. That's what he is. Yeah, he was just hanging. I love just, PJ. He PJ, good swing. It was fucking terrible. I texted him yesterday, or I texted him, yeah, yesterday before the game. I was like, heard you got the start. Let's go. And he goes, how the fuck did you already hear that? <laughs> I'm like, I got sources everywhere, man. <laughs> he was just hanging out in the clubhouse for, like, I don't know, however many days he was on the taxi squad. <laughs> and I walked by him one time in, like, the seventh inning. It was like, <laughs> how bored are you right now? He looked at me and he goes, so fucking bored. <laughs> he he would get mad at me when he was here because he wanted to stay and he wanted me to have beers with him after every single game. And he'd get so mad at me. I'm like, PJ, I can't do it every night, man. Not like get drunk, but just have like two or three beers. I'm like, I want to go home. Like, we'd have a day out. game the next day. Like, I want to hang out. Have to hang out. I, 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 would, hang out. I couldn't do it every single game. You don't every you don't every hang. night that we're that if your significant other's not there. There's like 10 of us who hang out in a hotel room on the road. You got to hang yeah. out. Oh, yeah. No, and I do. I would. I love PJ. But it was just hilarious because he'd get so mad at me if I didn't stay. He's like, why Why are you going home? What are you going to do? You're going to play fucking video games? I'm like, yeah, I am. That okay. is who you are. You're selfish. Alone. No, that's cap, as the kids would say. Cap. <laughs> Tom, what else do you have? Did you see? I haven't seen this, so I was curious as a uh, longtime fan of Tony Rizzo. Socks up today for him? Is he a socks up guy? I've never seen him be a socks up guy because he's normally got the really long, like the pants down to like the top of the shoes. Yeah, Tony will go. Tony will go pants up. He'll go pants up from time to time. Wrigley Day games, he would go pants up from time to time if he had to change it up. Yeah, he was a pants up guy. Tony's a superstitious guy, isn't he? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, I think he's a guy, like, if he's cold, not saying he was cold, but, like, if he's cold, he'll go pants up. He'll go no undershirt. I've seen him go no socks. That's no socks. psychotic. That would be no so chance. uncomfortable. No chance. Oh, yeah. That sounds miserable. I, we need Ian Hat pants up. That's what people are then asking. He, he hit a ground ball. He was no socks. He hit a ground ball to second, uh, his first at bat. And he was like, man, I felt like I was flying down the line. <laughs> I think he ended up going over for four with four ground outs. Oh. <laughs> so the no socks what? don't work. Didn't work. Okay. Also, in can, San we talk, Diego. can we talk about has anyone ran faster in the history of ever than Frank Schwindel when he hit his homer yesterday, the back to back with Patrick Wisdom? He was flying. He said he was kind of watching it. And then as soon as it went out, he was 
getting around the bags. And he goes, he goes, it comes around the bag and he's like, <laughs> and he had a big smile on his face the whole time. I was like, let's time. go. We were in the locker room after the game watching it. That was sick. That was a, that was a cool moment. They went back to back, back to back day. And then and has four, wait a four minute. In a row. Wait a minute. I love, I love the skipper. I love Rossi, big Rossi guy. Okay. Some would say bad managing, not putting them back to back in the lineup so they could do it three times in a row. You didn't oh my gosh, chance. Zach! Wow, Zach! Did Ian Whoa. have just question his manager? Wow, big, oh big Rossi guy, big gosh. Rossi guy. I don't think you're going to find your way in the lineup tomorrow, there, uh, Happer. You might uh, be on the pine tomorrow after that comment. I don't know if you saw his box score tonight. They, he's in Cincinnati. They can't leave him on the box. That box is box true. Cincinnati. It is Cincy. And I we got tagged in a tweet, and it said, never leave Cincy without a homer. And it was a quote. You really were going with the never leave Cincy without a homer thing. That's a, it's a little aggressive. It's a little aggressive. It's you like, said it. <laughs> I said it. Schwarber said it. But I never said it like. Never said it. It said it. Like, it's, a, it's a little rude. Like he said rude. it on his podcast. And that's I, I love hitting at Great American. I love the city of Cincinnati, uh, but it was a little marquee was getting a little aggressive with it today. And so it's the Cubs social media. That's I mean, I tweeted like it from that. our account too, with, with the, with the same never leave Cincinnati it's, without it's a, putting a maybe that's where they got it from. Maybe, maybe you said it and then they got it from you. Maybe you started the trend. No, can I be honest? So I, I was on the phone and I saw you hit a homer. So I was trying to tweet it out. So I didn't get a chance to listen to the call. I was like, just made sure it was the video tweeted it out. Then went back later when I was off the phone and, and listened to it. And I didn't realize that Boog also said at the end of the call, never leave Cincinnati that. without a homer. He did. Cause I was like, damn, I would have, I wouldn't have used the caption that if he said it at the end, but I, you know, I got burned cause I was trying to get it up as quick as I could. They did. Uh, they did mention when I, I had an interview with Taylor after the game that Schwarber was the first one to say. I, and and I included our tweet. So okay. Yeah. Ian, guess what we're uh, two weeks away from possibly happening? Zach Short versus Cody Mekas. Hopefully Zach's not there, but oh fuck, we're two that, weeks away from That's it. in two weeks? I believe so, because we go. we're in Memphis this week. Is home that like week. June 9th-ish? Yes, and then that's we pretty, go I'm to I'm going to play Toledo. Tony that weekend. You're going to Toledo? No, to, to play Tony in New York. And I'm going to go to Tomboy. We might have to get there. Tony on an interview then really? for that week. Yeah, you maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I should bring him in the office. See the boys. I said I think my parents are going to be there. Let's go. Well, they know I'm going to be there. Of course. No, gonna. no, not yours. In New York, you don't think that Mrs. Short is going to Toledo when I'm? No, you. they're going to the the Cubs varsity game. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> the varsity game in the plane in the show plane league, huh? Yeah, <laughs> doesn't sound as good as the bus league. It's the bus league. Oh, talk about the bus league. We had a nine hour one last Why night. Why didn't you guys what? fly? We don't know. We don't know. Because hey, guess what? I, next I, week, hey, guess what we have next week, Ian. Next week, 6.30 getaway day at night. Ooh. Wait, where are you going to, though? For, from Memphis to home. Ooh. Ooh. It's nine we hours. On, we'll get home at 8 a.m. We play on Monday. Do you have to play week. the next day? No. It, oh. I think it's oh. more. It's because of Memorial Day. We that's play still, on Monday. That's still from... 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. You know, and guess what? Me and Jared are planning on going straight to the golf course when we get off the bus because we're hey, committed. two things. We play on that Monday, then we have an off Tuesday next week. Because it's Memorial Day. Yeah. So we we play 6 30 at home and then we play the next day in Columbus and then off day. I can't wait to beat you in golf in two weeks. Mm-hmm. 75 or 76 today. I shot a hundred. 75 or 76? You didn't count your score. Or... I, I don't remember. I don't. I truly do not remember. Nah, we believe you, man. That sounds like a legit day. Well, when the when the game's over and the on the 14th hole, it's like, you know. Mm, yeah, for sure. Ian, I had a birdie today. Yeah, you're pure. But I also missed a five footer for another birdie. And I was mm-hmm. I'm gonna fall asleep tonight and have a nightmare about it. Listen, I have one thing about golf. Let's just real quick talk JT. Unbelievable. Good for him. Really tough for the guy that hit that ball. But Nito Pereira. I just want a little, just want a little thing. I don't talk about other people in other sports doing things bad because all, all sports are hard, and I don't judge. And it's really hard in the moment. But Zal Torres with the putter, putter going back, tough but, to watch. But it's only within watch. great like, ball striker, tough to watch. It's only within like five feet though. Wow, it's crazy. It's crazy. Did you see it's his like, stat? 
like from T to green, he's like first, but on like putting, he's 185th. Holy I only, God. I only bring it up. I only bring it up because I can only imagine the mental anguish that he's going through when he's on the Ooh, green. Good word. Cause he has to know the stats. He has to know that if he could just be like a tour average putter, he would be really, really good. He really just good. went to a playoff at a major and he putted like that. And and so I can only imagine he's just probably so domed up with it. If we can let's get that guy the right putter, the right putting coach, maybe go cross, whatever it is, would love to see him figure it out because amazing ball striker. And when wow. That's all I got on the golf. I felt really bad for Mito Pereira to double 18 and not even get in the playoff. I I hope that he takes the positives out of the week, takes the positives out of the weekend. And keeps playing good golf, and we see him back in contention because that is a toughie. I saw I saw a tweet that said he lost like one point seven on just not making the playoff, and uh, mm-hmm. you also lose the ten year exemption for not winning. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's uh, I mean, you Tom, talk about Tom, Tom, Tom don't rub it in, Tom. He's not here. I mean, I don't think he listens. <laughs> he, guys. No, he's a big he might fan. Listen, Tom. Ooh, uh, I also told I told Jared how uh, we had Damon on. And he was pretty fired up about that. He goes, that's sick. I'm like, yeah, it's really cool. He's fired up. my guy. Tool's my boy. Okay. One more thing about this week in Cubby News. So it's Fergie Jenkins statue day, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm in the kind of walking around. Fergie Jenkins statue's getting so uh, unveiled. He's on first pitch. He's doing all the things. So, like, I don't think anybody's going to be around the clubhouse. I kind of see a group of people walk by down the hallway. <laughs> Do you guys know who Russ is? The artist Russ? The, the rapper? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a huge Russ fan. Huge Russ fan. Can, Russ, you name, can you name like a few songs? I can name a few songs. I walked out to a couple of Russ songs. Uh, Ain't Going Back. Uh, he's got a lot of really good songs. I could name I a lot you of were just songs. a strong female vocalist kind of guy. I do like strong female vocals. Russ is uh, one of the rappers I really enjoy. I hey, Scotty, look- Scotty, friend of the pod, also Nasty Reliever, loves Russ. He loves Russ. We were in the car together, and he was like, you listen to Russ? But Russ was at the field. Stroman brought Russ to the field, and I didn't get to meet him. And I was so upset. So upset. I don't usually get upset about not being able to meet people. That was when I was like, dang. Yeah, well, guess what? We had Alan Lazard throw out the first pitch Friday. Saw that. Do you, do you think, uh, Ian? What sport and what position does he play in that sport? Who say it again? Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard is uh, obviously a. Don't don't look it up. He, I'm not looking it up. I promise <laughs> not. Your he, eyes left the screen for a yeah, second. Like, I'm thinking. This at? is my thinking face. I'm gonna close my eyes. Alan Lazard uh, definitely plays soccer and he's a forward. <laughs> Al Lazard is a he's a receiver for the Packers. (laughs) So close. It went obscure there. I knew Zach would know it at least. And I told him, I said, hey, we're going to defend the den this year. Watch out. And he got he got a little rattled. I was shagging BP and he was there hitting. And I was like power shag. And I was like, yeah, he sees me out here. He wouldn't want me guarding him. Where were you and how did he end up there? I don't know why. I think he went to Iowa State, maybe, but he threw out her first pitch. I'm not. I not. I think sure he's from there because connection. Derek Hill. I'm pretty sure is friends with him, and Derek Hill is from Des Moines. Uh, Des Moines. That could be. That would add up. We should. Uh, we should talk about our friends from Roman. Roman. <laughs> was that first pitch brought to you by Roman? I think it was. Before we get to the ad, I do want to read you this tweet though, because I saw it today, and I thought you might appreciate it. This was after your first uh, at bat of the day when Senzel made the great catch on you. And it's, it was, uh, you know, the baseball is dead when Ian Hat merely flies out to the wall instead of hitting it 25 rows deep at Great American Ballpark. That was uh, from Reds fan Brandon. He tweeted, I have had, Don't have give comment. me any excuses. I have had a ball. I've had a ball in that exact, like, exact same launch angle and numbers go five rows deep at that ballpark. That's all I'm saying. Luckily, you made uh, up for it by later hitting one about. That's true. I, I had to hit one 108 plus to get it out. Let's talk about Roman. That home right today was brought to you by Roman. Get Roman.com backslash compound. You'll get $15 off your first order of Roman T support. You know, 
T support. I'm into T support. Sometimes I feel like I have low T. No matter what you're wearing, confidence starts on the inside. That's very true. That is very true. Roman does Roman does um, low T stuff now, huh? Roman does everything. Roman they're taking, great. They're taking care of your T. Always said one a day T is uh, good for everybody. We can't take it here because they won't let us uh, help out our tea. But you, you can take some stuff to help your tea. If you're ready to show up for yourself from the inside out, start with Roman's testosterone support supplement. That's great. That's really great. Roman tea support is meant to help men maintain their body's natural testosterone production. You know what's a little messed up? Can we just talk about how if we have low, it's really hard for us to get a little tea support. What if I, what if my tea is on the low end of the tea spectrum and I just want to get to normal. If I show up with more tea tomorrow than I have today, I'm going to get popped. But what if I just want to get it to normal? What if I have a low tea? I can't take Roman, but you can take Roman tea support. Roman.com get Roman.com backslash compound $15 off your first Roman tea support. I'm all in on this. All in. I actually had my first uh, drug test of the year the other day, and they they do blood and urine now. So that's a little extreme. Yeah. Roman.com, get Roman.com slash compound for tea support. You could not take tea support because you would have pop positive, but everybody out there can take tea support, and they can be big and strong. They get, $15, head- they get $15 off, too. Pretty good deal. Off. You think my head could get any bigger, though? I don't know if you took uh, some T pills, if your head would get any bigger. I don't think so. I think it would just burst at that point. <laughs> Not with Get Roman. Get Roman, you'd feel really good. That's right. That's get, true. Get Roman.com backslash compound T support. That's not, that's not actually the thing. It's just get Roman.com slash compound. And then you get $15 off your T support when you get there. All right. Brought to you by Get Roman. Um, Tom, is there anything else that you have for us? Okay. I have a big thing before we maybe do screen time. Maybe we do something else before that. But we have a big compound news, big compound news. Tom graduated from college this week. Tom! Grad school, grad school, grad school, grad school, grad school. Thank you, thank you. Hello, baby. Do you want to tell us about it? you want to tell us about your graduation? Was it a good time? Yeah, I mean, it was, it's a little weird because I, gra- I mean, with all the COVID stuff, I actually graduated, like I got my diploma and everything in the mail in like October. Um, but so this was just walking for the actual ceremony and I wasn't sure I was going to do it. And then I, you know, I decided I was going to go and it was, uh, it was over the Meadowlands in New Jersey. So kind of a weird place to go. Uh, it was really dark. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Every other graduation I've ever been to is outside. I've never been to an indoor graduation. This was because of COVID. They had some weird rules and stuff. So there was inside and there was no lights. Uh, so I just saw the video of myself walking up on stage and I was trying to find my parents. And it's like I'm squinting. I look very weird when I'm walking across the stage because it's it's a very unusual setting. But uh, I appreciate you mentioning it. It's uh it's cool to have a master's degree. Yeah. We appreciate the fact that you have two degrees because we have none. So well, well, someone could borrow mine. They're like, they're worthless. You guys can have would, just pieces of paper. I'll take it. It, it ups I'll the compound it. total to two, which is good for us because. Yep, Who's the closest? I think I'm probably, or is Zach the closest? I have a year. I got, I got a year. I got a 30 credits left. I'm the closest. I got to step up. How close are you? I got like 20. <laughs> one, I went to camp. I went one to UC big campus semester today. They should just like, they should give me like one credit every time I go to campus. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think that's just like toss uh, a credit. Just like toss a credit my way. Hey. Or like, you know, can you get like pardon? Like the president can pardon people like, Hey, we pardon you from the rest of your classes. Here's a degree. I think you can get an honorary degree. I think that's a real thing. Yeah. I mean like the speaker, if you're like a speaker at a graduation, you get like an honorary doctorate and stuff. We had a guy who got an honorary doctorate, uh, founder of 1-800-Flowers was a speaker. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Right. I've used them. Do you have his number? I'd like to connect with him. No, I don't. <laughs> but he was he was telling some wild stories. He was a character. Really? Yes. He knows Judge Judy. He was telling a lot of Judge Judy stories. Wow. I've heard, that, uh, I've heard that 1-800-Flowers is the biggest seller of coffee in the States. I haven't confirmed that, but I heard that because they sell, they like, they'll do like flowers and then they'll put like a cookie or like 
coffee or like other things in there. Um, I heard it's connect roasters. Connectroasters.com. Home run club. Just got a, uh, a dinger dollar today. You're welcome. Sorry about it. You should get Zach in on the dinger dollars. Have him be a part of it. I haven't hit one in a few weeks. I'll give you one. What are you doing? I got you, bro. I don't know. I'm struggling. I'm on the bus. Come on. You're not struggling. You're never struggling. You're never struggling. You're just one day away from getting four hits. Clean it up. I can't let him go to negative. You see how positive I am? He goes, Zach goes to negative town quick. Um, I actually haven't been negative until the last two days. (laughs) No, that's not true. Every time you come on here. I gas you up before everyone else because Zach's always the first one. Weird. Even today, Zach was the first one. Weird. And I'll say, and I, I'll, I'll say to Zach, I, I, I'm always looking at his stats and I'll always gas him up. And he's like, ah, it's bustly. It doesn't matter. No matter what. Zach, Zach, like that. We talked to him like right after he had like the three homer day. Didn't matter. Two homer day, whatever, how many homers he had. Seven doesn't RBIs. Matter. Yeah. It's because he's negative, Nancy. Yeah. He's just Zach, a negative guy. real. Guys, guys, I'm real. Zach, when did you get all these bags? You got 50 in the minors. Low, low A? Yeah, I had like 20 in the first half. Hey, your OPS is still 827 this year. Chill out. He's got yeah, five you know, bags this that, year. It's that low. 827? That's above league average. Oh, is that like 900 the start of the week? Also, also. Then get it back up there this week. I just can't deal with sex negativity. It's bringing me down. Let's do well, screen time. Sloan screen time presented by Sloan. If you need automatic flushers, automatic faucets, go to Sloan. If you're building Zach, you... any kind of large building, they will install. No, you know what you know sucked is today I woke up at like 7 in the morning and I went to the bathroom and like I was getting ready to go and I was like, can't do it in here. Where, this is, where this can you Sloan go? Because you can't go at the field and you can't go at home. Wherever there's Sloan. I check before I go to the bathroom. You go to like a specific gas station? Yeah, dude. Somehow. Maybe we need to make some intros there in the Toledo area, huh? That's what I'm saying, dude. Call have Mr. Sloan text me. It's all good. Who wants to start? Five twelve. Mine's gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm really scared for mine. Six hours, nine minutes. Four four uh four hours, eight minutes for me. Four hours. You eight also minutes. played today. All right. I mean, me and Zach didn't play yeah. today. Okay. Uh, six hours, 15 minutes. <laughs> See, that's not bad. Tom's like on a different scale than us. So like if Tom's yeah, below that's seven, true. it's a great day. Yeah. That's a great I'm, day for me. I'm really looking for the double digit day. I'm kind of upset we haven't got a double digit day at a time yet. I mean, you talk to me on like a Saturday or a Sunday, like some, some of the Sundays. Digit, some of the, hey. some of the, I've, I've seen it sometimes. And I like, if it was one of those days, I would have to lie. I've never lied before, but if it was like, like I've had, I think, I think the highest, I had like a 14 one time and I was like, Tom, to touch throw some my grass. Home. Go touch we were, grass. We were Just actually, we were actually amazed when we were getting the Twitter uh, comments, people sending it in. And we saw some, we saw some times that like blew our minds. We can wait real quick if, for the people that actually make it uh, all the way to the end of the episode that like to hear us ramble at the end. That's where we're in the ramble stage now. Can again, our fans please start sending in their screen times again? I love, I live for the fan screen times. I'm way into it. Yeah, it's 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 fascinating. It makes me feel better, honestly, because yeah, I feel like typically hey, my hey, times hey, are hey, lower. Hey, hey. <laughs> Zach froze. The episode, Zach froze. Zach froze. This is how you know it's the end of the episode because someone always freezes. Yeah, Look at his that's screen a, right now. That's an amazing. Pure freeze. Um, <laughs> I wonder when he'll click back in. <laughs> no, probably never. This has been episode 111 of the Compound Podcast. Go get your parse at Benny's. At tell him to Lord tell him to rate the podcast again. We don't do that anymore. We yeah, tell people to rate, rate the podcast. Rate, yeah, subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe. Dakota, unsubscribe, resubscribe. I want to know what Zach's doing right now. If he thinks it's working or not, because <laughs> his screen's still frozen. So Can we Facetime know. him? Can we get a Facetime going? I don't know what he's doing. You know what I really want? I really want people to tweet at us, hashtag Sloan screen time, and then send a picture of their screen time so it can help Zach's content, so that we can uh, see what the viewers are up to. All right? Can you put that out there, Tom? Sloan screen time. Hashtag Sloan screen time. Send us a picture. Uh, I'll tweet it Wednesday. All right. Wednesday's our new Sloan screen time. Day. Okay. Uh, that's episode 111 of the Compound Podcast. See you next week. I'll bring my microphone. I got it.